So if you ever need to populate a sequence of numbers in a column, whether it's IDs or order numbers, whatever it is, we're going to start with the very basics and we're going to work out from there to show you some more sophisticated ways to use this. So the very basics is using a formula called sequence. And so we can just manually put in a number in here. So for example, 10. And if you look here, that's going to be the number of rows. And so we're not going to worry about columns with the way we're using this, but we will show you that start here after a little bit. But we're going to start with the basic here, just sequence and put in some number here. And you can see it starts at one and goes to 10. Now, if we change this to 20, for example, now we can see it starts at one and goes to 20. So this may be sufficient for your uses, but if you want to get a little more sophisticated, perhaps we only want these numbers to show up where we have dates. And so in that case, instead of putting 20 here, we just have to determine how many rows we have filled. And so we can do that using a count formula. Now there's a count and a counta or count a formula. So count counts the number of numbers. So that one 10 times fast. Count a counts the number of values. So we can use either on a date column. So let's just start with this real quick. And there we go. We have one through 11. So now if we double click and pick another date, you can see it goes to 12. Pick another one, it goes to 13. Now, the one thing with this method is pretty much no matter how you do this, is if you skip a row and come down here, that sequence is counting another one, but it's only filling one row at a time. And so if you're skipping rows in your data, then this may not be the best method for you. But as long as we keep filling in sequentially, then that works just fine. So that's the very basic of this. What if you don't want to start one, though? You want to start at, let's say, a thousand. So we could do this by in our formula. So we can just set one column, for example. That's all we need here. And then we can just update the start to, let's say, a thousand. And so now we start at a thousand and we go up to a thousand ten. And again, if we add a new row. It'll keep incrementing just like that. So that's awesome and that's great. And this may be all that you need. Let's look at two more things that we can do real quick. One, what if we want not just a number, but we want, let's say, a serial number is what we're generating. So we want SN in front of our number. So we could try to add it, you know, SN. It doesn't work there. We try to add it in front. And that doesn't work either. So what we need to do is this is our closest to what we need. All we have to do is wrap this in an array formula. Just like this. So we put whatever text we want inside double quotes, put an ampersand, and then we have our normal sequence formula. And then that appends our sequence after those letters. And so we can add more dates and we can see it increments properly just like we need it to. Now we might want something like a dash as well between that and that works the exact same just like that. Now another thing we could do is we could generate instead of just setting SN or whatever we have here, we might generate it, for example, from the sales rep. So here we have the sales rep. So we could take their full name even. And so in this case, we would do C2 to C and something like that. And obviously this isn't a perfect method. Let me add a dash here. And so now we're putting the sales rep name and that number. Now the issue is, is that when we get down here, we had the whole column for C, but the sequence we're only counting the number and B. And so in this example, what we could do is say if B2 to B equals to blank, do nothing, otherwise C2 to C. And that solves our issue if we just add that in front with that two commas. And so at that point, that could be great, but maybe we don't want their full name. Maybe we just want their initial, like their first initial. And then we could just do left around that C and put one. 
and that will just take their first initial. Now, obviously, this won't work very well if you have multiple sales reps or multiple names that start with the same initial, but this can be a way to do that. And then the last thing we're going to do is actually tuck this formula up into the header, because at this point, if we delete this top row for some reason, then that formula will disappear and all of our numbers will disappear. So we're going to take this whole formula and I'm going to cut it or copy it. And then I'm going to come up here to my header row and I'm going to add an equals a angle or curly brace. And then I'm going to wrap my title there in double quotes. And then the important part is to make sure we do a semicolon and then we can paste that formula back in and end with a curly brace. And the only thing we have to do now is remove that equals and drop that back in. And now we got that safely tucked away there in the header. And now if we delete this top row, it doesn't delete our formula. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you. And as always, have a great day.